2019 Accurate NSX Car Review Although Acura doesn't have one to blame but itself for not evolving the NSX consistently because the now 28-year-old pioneering original, still seems slightly unfair that all discussion from the revived second generation of that might engine supercar is colored so intensely through the old car. When Ferrari rolled out its 488 GTB, in the end, there seemed to be no deep dissection of how it even compares to its early 1990s contemporary, the 348. But, without continual change, the earth is right to wrestle while using question of the modern NSX must be, get the job done old versus new comparison is definitely an impossible one. Although there is something that carries over through the original, the Berlina black paint color, the forward view in a very mild engine supercar will likely never be so panoramic again, a pillars will not again be so spindly, along with the cowl so low. Nor will a supercar anymore come which has a mechanical odometer or perhaps a tape deck. Get over it. If you like the initial NSX much, if you buy one. This writer does, and did this. The good points of 2019 Accurate NSX Seamless hybrid integration, serious straight line speed, presenting a worthy base tire. The bad points of 2019 Accurate NSX Unchanged and underwhelming infotainment, tushed V6, under thrilling on the list of supercar ranks. At best, the supercar viewing public is apparently confused from this latest hybridized rendition from the NSX and, at worst, underwhelmed. In the 24 months it's been discounted, Acura has moved slightly below 1,000 units from the United States, a lot less than a quarter in the number of 1991 and 1992 models sold. Today what's flying off from shelves four times faster include the McLaren 570S and 570GT. To flaunt the small changes designed to the NSX for 2019, Acura ferried us, and also a couple of OEO built 2019 NSXs, the nearly 6,000 miles to Japan's rural northernmost Hokkaido prefecture to sample them at its Takazu proving grounds. There. Honda test sets from supercars to snowblowers and lawnmowers in the end were there, a number of memos were autonomously cutting the grass. The venue was appropriate because, while initial development was led outside of Ohio, the baton was passed into a Japan-based team to the 2019 facelift. The 2000 Acre Takazu facility was designed in 1993 and a few final tuning on the main car happened here during construction. Among its number of roads are exacting replicas of European and US roadways. After a switch from driving for the left off to the right as you get into the US section, you will find copies of roads surrounding Honda's American headquarters in Torrance, California, designed to make sure there isn't any surprise feedback in the test drives of U.S. based executives. Changes for 2019 The most critical mechanical change is often a new standard Continental Sport Contact 6 tire that replaces the Conti Sport Contact 5P within the same 24535ZR19 front and 30530ZR20 rear sizes. It's the same tire that helped the Civic Type R deliver a different front drive record as of this year's lightning lap competition and also a heady 1.02 grams about the skid pad. The other chassis changes, stiffer anterior bars back and front, and stiffer rear toe link bushings, were performed to match the modern tire, in accordance with the chassis tuning lead engineer Misafumi in OA. He also watchily admits until this far grippier tire, he estimates the development at roughly 15%, is almost solely in charge of Acura's are convinced that the revised NSX is two seconds all lap quicker round the Honda Suzuka F1 track. 
That's where F1 legend Ayrton Senna danced his loafers for the three pedals with the original NSX before convincing the engineers to provide a couple additional stiffening braces. However, the 2019 car is unlikely to become any quicker than before when wearing dealer-installed Pirelli P0 Trufio R track rubber, like our 2016 Lightning Lap car did, a dealer-installed option that stays available. There are a couple of cosmetic tweaks, too, such as a whole new blinding orange color, available orange painted calipers for your $9,900 carbon ceramic brakes, along with a switch to body color throughout the top edge with the grille. That last change sounds small, however it works to further debeak the top end, particularly from the darker colors. Inside, there's now a red full leather option together with a blue leather and suede combo. One thing that needed changing could be the infotainment, which was improving rapidly from the Honda ranks lately with quick responding touch screens, sharper graphics, and volume and tuning knobs added back to the mix. But the 2019 NSX gets none of the, nor the modern true touchpad system through the 2019 RDX. Instead soldiering will carry on with this outdated subgrade system. Honda's Mini Nürburgring Inspired with the Nürburgring, the winding course at Takazu rises and falls 200 feet over its 3.9 miles. It's a caricature of your race track, with repeated dramatic mid-corner undulations there seemingly to induce maximum unsettlement right in the apex the place you don't want it. Given the hairiness of the track, it is possible to almost forgive the engineers for tuning the NSX for being so benign and forgiving. It simply is not unsettled, even with the most extreme sections where the leading end catches a bit air, causing a dramatic collision of our own helmet while using headliner plus a big scrape in the front air dam since the NSX returns all four tires on the road. But that does not make it very fun. Had we instead unleashed tail up e McLaren 570 models here, someone almost definitely would have spun one into your trees which, insanely, were brought over from Germany to try and do the authenticity in the Nürburgring inspiration. But isn't as being a bit of any handful a part of supercar lore? The first gen car was docile when driven gently, but it really came alive once the revs and also the GS increased. In fact, this very publication spun two of them off the road, tail first, in this first two comparison tests each of which it won. Confusingly, Inoue, the chassis engineer, said they tuned in rear instability for 2019, something we believe the car definitely didn't need. Disappointingly, with the limit the NSX always heads for understeer and that we never once felt symptoms of life through the rear end. When a fresh NSX whizzes by, the 75 degree V6 emits a unique damper, but one that's way too muted and polite. The dominant sound inside is intake honk, an NSX tradition dating back to the initial, although most from the noise around the second generation car comes via a sound tube plumbed in the cabin using a butterfly valve to manage the amount of noise it passes. Some additional heft continues to be added for the steering, even though efforts are still for the light side, during track mode. But even at low speeds, the helm within the 2019 model feels slightly sharper just off-center, that's probably due to the revolutionary tires. And for a bi-wire hybrid setup, the brake a pedal effort and feel is impressively pure during max attack driving, and there is no hybrid reg and funkiness. The seats tend to be more relaxed fit compared to the supercar norm, yet still do an admirable job of holding the motive force in place about the mixed material seats, the suede inserts help. At low to moderate cornering speeds as much as about 75 miles per hour, you are able to really feel the electric motors yanking leading end outside of corners. The dual clutch automatic shifts quickly but, sticking together with the theme, extremely smoothly and nearly seamlessly. 
even in track mode, when paddle shifting it is possible to elicit anything with a semblance of the edge with it. This hybrid setup appears like the way with the supercar future that other people are said to check out. And it's endlessly impressive the best way seamlessly the engineers have were integrate three electric motors, a twin turbo V6, plus a nine speed dual clutch into this mild engine architecture. In fact, listening towards the team articulate its goals, they very exactly rendered the auto they that will build. It's easy to tolerate, and ultra friendly and approachable to push. But it remains more technically and intellectually stimulating compared to emotionally. Music